Hello everyone, my name is Anand Kumar Jha and you are watching Code with Anand. In the previous video, we talked about uh, different kinds of relationships like a master detail relationship and a lookup relationship. And uh, in lookup relationship, uh, uh, object to extended object to custom object, extended to extended object, these kind of relationships we talk about. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the junction object in sales for so before moving on that i am just want to say that uh, if you are new on this channel just please subscribe the channel and uh, click the bell icon so the notification will reach to you very soon as soon as i upload the video and please share this video if you like it and uh, share with your friends who are preparing for sales first video and because it's going to be very helpful for them so let's move to the junction objects so first first thing first uh, what is junction object uh, injunction object uh, in which we, we utilize to combine master detail relationship uh, like uh, um, in uh, other relationship uh, like in states for there are two kind of relationship master detail relationship or lookup relationship and they both are one to many relationships and they are both defined from many to one side that is from a child to parent and they can meet one to one relationship by adding validation rules and maybe figures and imports to one to one measures. So only one child is allowed. But injunction objects are used to create many to many relationships between objects. Uh, for example, uh, if you take recruiting application, for example, that means the, uh, to see, you can see a position that can be linked to many candidates and a candidate apply for different positions. To create this model, you need to third object. You have to create that like a uh, job application. Similar to uh, for another example, like uh, in a, for any hospital, a doctor have multiple patients, and a patients can have multiple doctors. So in this case, we have to many to many relationships. We have to create that. For that, we use third object, which is called as junction object. So uh, junction, uh, which is called as junction object. Uh, so let's just see how to create the junction object so practically. So first we need to uh, we need to go to the setup where we create custom objects. So let's see that how to create that. And for creating that we need two uh, master detail relationships because we are creating here many to many. So uh, this is uh, for school application. So teacher and a student. So I am going to create one uh, appointment object through which we can create appointment between the students or teacher and the parents and teachers. So just uh, come to the setup and uh, click on create and we are going to create custom object. So just click on custom object and uh, our object name uh, is uh, appointment. So I'm going to give you uh, appointment. Appointment to one uh, just give here. Not appointment one, appointment X. Yeah, appointment X. I just keep the name appointment X, and uh, plural name is uh, what is uh, plural name. Uh, you have to give that which is available to on the tabs. So just I'm going to give that appointment only, and uh, we just leave everything as default. And uh, I am going to use your data type as auto number means uh, we uh, we are not going to give as a text auto number so it is automatically increasing and whatever you write the format here in that format that number is automatically increased by one so i am just going to give their a point meant and then the format is a minus sign and then zero 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 and that number is increased by uh, 1, so 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, and that will be increasing, uh, that will be increasing automatically. So I am just going to save this, and then uh, it's taking that the review all the which is correct, uh, something is, uh, yeah, here, I, for, I forgot that the uh, string format number, starting number, so it's going to be a start from 1. And I'm going to create tab for this also. So just uh, select and check this box uh, option like uh, launch new custom tab is are after saving this and click here. So you have to create a tab now. So I'm just going to select the uh, object type appointment tab style. You have to select this. select any because it doesn't matter in lightning component, but it is really important in classical mode. 
classic mode so i'm just uh, selecting anything castle i'm going to select that and just uh, click on next then it asks you some uh, field level security uh, so just uh, uh, click next everything default is here and you have to select which in which application you want to uh, add your uh, this tab appointment tab so i'm adding this appointment tab on akj school and just saving it after saving that you will find that the one tab is available on our school akj school so just refresh it and you will find that uh, it takes a little bit time to, for updating that so see here our uh, appointment tab is available here so now uh, it's uh, totally empty because we can't select anything here now we have to create a master detail relationship under uh, to master detail relationship under uh, appointment tab so just click on field and relationship and uh, uh, click new and we are creating for uh, students and the teacher so just click select on here master detail relationship click next and uh, related to which object related to it's going to be teacher one so select teacher one and select next then you have to uh, give the label so i'm just giving it label choose teacher and uh, it's fine so everything okay just click on next if you give some want to give some description you can but i am not giving it i am just leaving it default just click next click next and then save and new i am going to create one more uh, for choose students so just uh, click on save new and select again same process repeat again two times so just click next now this time i am going to create for a student one so just search for a student one where is a student one yeah here is a student one just click on next and here you give the label choose choose a student and just click on next everything is a similar process you don't have to do anything uh, so point and click logic and uh, when you go to in development mode like or eligibility components and the triggers at that time you have to do some codings so i'm just going to save that and our two fields is created in field and relationship like to choose a student and choose teacher which is master teacher relationships in our junction object so i'm just going to refresh it and because every time you need to refresh because it takes time to load that fields and uh, just click on new and you will get two fields like choose a student so from here you can choose a student name a uh, teacher name and um, which a student going to um, appoint uh, appointment from teacher so a student name here also and i'm going to create one field which is a uh, uh, appointment start date so for that we need to use data type as a date so just click on new and come to date data type yeah here select it and now just click on next after clicking next you have to give the label so i'm going to give the label appointment appointment start date and just click on next and if you want to give a description or help text so give it uh, it will be helpful when we use the validation rule which we talk next after this topic so just click on next and uh, select all the field level security here on just click on next after clicking next just click on save and one more field that are available here on appointment start date uh, on which uh, um, date we want to create appointment between students and teacher so just click on here and uh, click on new and we are going to create uh, uh, it's taking time here so appointment one name uh, name is not available here because it is auto increment so it will be automatically available here but why not date is showing it's taking time uh, sometimes it's taking time um, because of a network issue and uh, to uh, upload here update the fields here which we just created 
uh, it's taking little bit time but our field is created here as you see here appointment state date 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 type is available here so it's taking little bit time sometimes so don't be worry and just refresh it multiple times and you will find that you will find that fields easily here so i'm just going to refreshing again and again why not it's updating it's taking long time so uh, it's taking little bit time so i'm just going to uh, show you how to create appointment so um, between teacher like i am going to create uh, appointment between teacher allo and student aman so and uh, just click on here save so you will get one appointment field here like uh, uh, teacher and student and appointment date fields here available updated but uh, it's not showing that time yeah so you can here from also edit that just select any date which you want i want to uh, create appointment on 13th july so just save it here and see appointment between alok shah and aman is created on 13th july so you have to present there on 13th july so this is the way we create appointment between our uh, teacher um, uh, appointment and the junction object this is the example of junction object so for now uh, this is uh, all about junction object and uh, in the next video i am going to uh, talk about uh, validation rules and formula field so that's all from now and just uh, i am going to uh, give some uh, links about uh, how to create junction objects and some trailhead links so you can practice through that also so thank you everyone and just uh, if you like this video just share with your friends and uh, tell him that to subscribe this channel because this is going to be very helpful for him if he uh preparing for pd1 so thank you everyone thank you